Here's the thing with people like that. You just gotta give her. You know what I mean? It's not my problem. Ugh. It reminds me of like, when people do that, you just power through, right? I think it was well-designed cat eating a hot dog, right? That's that whole person's life there. Going around to streamers and giving that amazing cat eating a hot dog level, right? That's all that is. That's their entire life. They've never been hugged. It's insane. What is this? Wait a minute. Is this one that I should be, I should practice or should I just one shot it? Do I need to practice this or can I just play this? Oh, that's your secret plan. Oh, one shot it. No, it's and a halves. So is this one that actually needs to be practiced or is it literally just... Uh -huh. You're out alone on a dark... Fuck, I missed it. Unable to find your way home, you look for someplace dry. However, you have arrived at a split path. Do you take the right path or the left? Wait, what? How do I decide which... What the... How did I... How do you pick... How did you pick... I thought there was just one button. I'm going the left path. Soon enough, you arrive at a log cabin. Seems cozy, but also quite empty. To check if anyone is home, you decide to knock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? There's real knocking. I thought somebody was here. I thought somebody was here. Are you seriously upset of the balding joke? No. Jesus, Tashemi, it's like you don't know me at all. Which you don't, which is fine. We're just all random internet people. The only one I know IRL is Happy Panda. Because every Canadian meets by the tree in Edmonton every year. All right, let's take this for serious. You're out alone on a dark, rainy night. Unable to find your way home, you look for someplace dry. However, you've arrived at a split path. I think he's just excited to say messages, subtle pup. I would like to go... Oh, that's how I changed. Okay, we're going right this time. Surely this must lead to somewhere. Uh, you continue on the right path. I'm curious as to where he'll take you. Soon enough, you arrive at a log cabin. It seems cozy, but also quite empty. To check if anyone is home, you decide to knock. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, we're going on the right path again. I was pressing, I was pressing fucking B. I should be tapping A. I, it's not like I've just been streaming for th over three and a half hours playing this game with one button. I just forget what button it was. It's not on purpose. Okay, here we go. For realsies this time. For realsies. <clears throat> no answer. Decide to let yourself in. If a big fucking face jumps out at me and just like, it's the face of like the chick from The Exorcist or something, I'm gonna like, I, you don't understand. You don't understand. Uh, you don't understand. You're trying way too hard. You're trying way too hard right here. You just did three messages in a row. I fuck, I dude. Dude, I understand. If you're mad at me, keep it to the DMs. Don't do this to me on stream. Don't do it. <laughs> the cabin is dark. You're unable to see anything. You remember that you packed some matches, and you reach into your pocket to grab them. With a quick strike, you light a match. You figure that nobody's been here for a while. To your left, you notice some candles. You bring the flame over to light one, but the flame dies before you can light it. You take out one more match and strike it. Carefully, you bring the flame over the candles to light them. They glow a bright orange hue, illuminating the whole room. You turn around and take a look inside the cabin. <laughs> Oh, you fucker. It contains some old furniture, big knacks, and a bar stocked with various spirits. A fireplace just presented itself, reminding you of how cold it was. Don't do that. Take a few steps toward the fireplace, intending to light it. 
With three quick heaves, you throw a few pieces of wood inside of it to burn. You pull out the final match and light the bottom of the fireplace. Okay? It quickly catches and you start to feel warmer. Okay? In the corner of the room, you spot an old record player. Okay? All right. You approach it and realize how dusty it is. Okay, there definitely isn't anybody here. There's dust everywhere. With a swift blow, you try to get some of the dust off. It clearly hasn't been used in a while. A record sat on the table. It was a song performed in 1931, a fairly long time ago. You place the record on the platter and slide the tone arm over the disc. It stutters, but a song starts to play. This is, this is, this is, that's from Bioshock. I know Bioshock is set in this time period. This is giving me Bioshock uh, things, and there's some jumpy scares in Bioshock. Music brings back memories of your own childhood. False! I'm not that old! Reminding how good it felt to be young. You decide to take advantage of the bar. That's why I know you're lying to me right there. You just said reliable mod. <laughs> you decide to keep talking. You guys keep talking. I don't fucking trust chat for one second. You grab an old fashioned glass along with a bottle of whiskey. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm in. There's drinking in this? Let's go. Setting both the glass and the bottles on the table, you take a seat at the bar. You open the bottle, being careful not to spill any liquor. You then proceed to pour yourself a glass. After serving yourself a drink, you lift the glass up to take a sip. You start to enjoy yourself. Music seemed to sound better under the influence. The whiskey tasted finally aged and you wish, finally aged and you wish you could share it with someone. Suddenly you hear footsteps approaching the front of the cabin. Okay. Someone is coming. All right, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, I hate you. Rush over to blow the candles out while also stopping the record. I hate you. You quickly take the glass of remaining whiskey and dump it into the fire smothering the flame. The door is slowly being unlocked. You open a window and jump out in a rather unglamorous fashion. Close the window and look into the cabin to see who the owner is. Two people enter the cabin, a man and a woman. Oh, we're going to watch people have sex. They both look around the cabin, relighting the candles. They turn towards the record player, noticing it's been disturbed. The woman begins to play the record and dances with her lover. Wait, what's happening? Are they ghosts? Both the man and the woman fall into each other's arms during their youth. Just like me, these two are young. What? They too were enjoying the present as I had done today? What? You decide to let them reminisce in privacy, leaving the cabin. Wait a minute, this is a time traveling cabin. Am I the ghost? Maybe you'd return one day. <laughs> 